everything escalated one dark. I was really weak and I was kind of trembling. It was the worst thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> and I wasn't really planning on vlogging today or this trip at all but I figured I would do so only today the current location is Puerta del Sol in Madrid next to the center and I'm going to a very interesting place that I'll show you later I am sorry if the mic isn't the best and the audio isn't the best and you probably cannot hear me well but since I wasn't planning on filming today or this whole vacation I didn't bring it the microphone so this is what you get I don't even have a tripod so the angle is gonna pretty much be like that anyways that is Palacio del Sol and yeah they're rebuilding the the plaza the square so there's all construction work behind me and on this side as well but regardless of that as your experience on a trip series continues and you get Madrid <laughs> to my next destination which is the actual point of today's video so without further ado let's go <music> just pride and tiktok because it's june so pride month and i love that about here you see this pretty much everywhere in town like pride and they call it orgullo and all that so it's really pretty i'll show you more today and i've arrived to my destination it's a stranger things free exhibition that is kind of a paranormal supernatural um, interactive experience or something like that it's free and there is a very long line that goes all behind there and that's exactly where we're going no. the line is very long as you can see very very I'm already on the other side of the building but I'm doing this this is the only thing that I have to do today plus the, the line is moving so we shall see so it's currently 10 past 1 p.m. and I really want to see how long I take it takes to get in so wish me luck so you guys it's currently one hour later I'm just waiting for a very long time and I'm getting halfway through the line Between these two clips something quite bad had happened to me, but you'll have to stick around for a couple more minutes to find out what. The whole experience turned out to be a paranormal attitude test. The first room was about light control, and a volunteer was supposed to sit on a chair and look at a light bulb. With their power, the light bulb would light up. The second room was about levitation, but I have no footage of that one. The third room was telekinesis themed and I volunteered for the test. To conclude the experience, the last room was about mental strength. I am back at 
you a tale and I have quite the story time for you. Let's start with saying that the whole experience, not worth the wait, for sure. It was too long to wait for a very disappointing experience, so maybe it wasn't me, I should have looked it up more, but first of all, I know that the word paranormal was in the description of the experience and that it said that you it was suggested to be at least 16 or more in order just to be there. It was an experience for kids mostly. It was cool but definitely after advertised differently with the whole creepy thing at the at the entrance, the door entrance that I showed you earlier. That was cool. But the rest, for kids, I would say. And definitely not worth two hour wait. Not even an hour, okay? It was good that it was free because I'm just speechless. But what made it worst is that at some point, so the first part of the line, as you saw, I was in the shade. Then everything escalated 40 minutes after I started being in the sun. Leave for granted, I'm sorry if I'm shaking out on the bed. They for granted that I was eating, I had my water, I had the hat to cover my head from the sun, I have sunglasses, but at some point I started feeling dizzy and I needed to just sit in the shade. So I just had the time to write on my phone, translate from Italian to Spanish, and to tell to a couple of guys um, behind me that I was gonna leave my place just to see it and then I would come back because I wasn't feeling well. I showed them the phone with a translation and all I remember is that everything went dark. I couldn't hear anything and I was on the floor and someone was pouring water on me. I, I fainted and it was the worst thing I've ever experienced. Apart from a very bad hangover, but that was really awful. And so, this nice guy that was there with his girlfriend uh, brought me inside and another man also uh, joined along. They asked me if I had someone to call, if it was there someone, but of course I'm alone because hashtag <laughs> this experience takes on the world on her own and <laughs> if she dies, she dies on her own. That's the reality of things. So um, they made me sit inside with air conditioning, they gave me some more water, a fan, like the thing that you use and just stay there. The earrings slowly came back but I was really weak and I was kind of trembling and so I laid there for a little bit. The guy stayed with me and then we went to the bathroom and then I took a, an okey because I thought that would help and luckily I had them in my backpack. So then after a little bit I told them Let's go outside, I feel a little better and I don't want you to lose your spot and just go back to your girlfriend. Thank you for taking care of me, but I think that I can continue from now on. So I stayed in the line and then I enter again. The rest is history. But all to say that Ashak not worth it, so maybe I should have gone to the park, as I, I thought last night. But then I didn't and this day turned out to be pretty much the worst day of the vacation thus far. Here's the thing, I'm not even a fan of Stranger Things. I just wanted to go because it was free and I thought it was cool because a lot of people were in the line every day that I was seeing, but it wasn't. So there was a point that I wanted to cry and just pretty much. I was regretting some life choices that I made, but I, we made it through. I'm here and I'm just gonna shower and relax, maybe cry, I don't know. Hashtag realness, right? And then I'd probably go out tonight, but guess what? I'll likely be alone again. Yay! But at least that there won't be any sun to be under. So I'll update you later. Hola chicos! It's a few hours later from the last time that I talked to you. I'm feeling better, actually. I had kind of a little breakdown after the scene that I shot after the last time that I talked to you, but now I am better. I just need to kind of let it out because traveling alone always seems so fun until it's not. And that moment when I fainted, I really wanted someone to be with me and I really felt lonely. 
this is not a place to talk about it though, in the middle of the street. So I just wanted to say, sorry. I just wanted to say that now I'm good. I went out, I just ate a few pieces, uh, slices of pizza, and now I'm going back to the hotel because it's still early here and there's still sun out. So I'll, um, I'll go out later when it's dark to that LGBTQ plus block that I really wanted to visit at night. It's called a trick up, but see you later. So for now it's it. This is and we'll talk later. Hey people, it's the next day and as you can well understand I didn't finish the video yesterday and after eating I was debating whether to actually go out or not but I wasn't feeling great so guess what I stay in. Today I wasn't feeling good either this morning so I stayed in my room <laughs> aching and suffering uh, from pain and I finally had to leave the room because the housekeepers had to clean it so around 11 40 I left I want to eat pizza uh, the same thing that I ate last night because it's the only thing that I can eat here there is nothing else that I can eat so well as a summary this holiday this vacation this whatever it is is not going well and I am sad lonely kind of pissed but at least I'm in a beautiful place I'm at the Retiro Park, which is beautiful, gorgeous, big, silent, calm, quiet. That's why I came here, although I already came the other day. I just don't feel like visiting anything. As you can see, I'm pretty sad and mad. But I'm here, I brought a book to read. I'm just gonna stay in the shade. I don't wanna fatigue myself, really, because I still don't feel good. But I had to leave, so here I am. It's beautiful. So... Thank you for being part of this journey with me because it's not always rainbows and sunshines, apparently. And my luck had to end at some point. Uh, it sucks that I cannot rely on my body anymore. I mean, this time, it was just a mixture of things that didn't make me feel well, but... A few hours later. Hey, you guys. You thought the video was over there, but we cannot end it with a bad note. Sad note, no something amazing happened i mean i kind of planned it but whatever that was just the best way to turn the day around and everything bad that happened you know what fuck that and just go to a fucking drag show like the drag show of spain it was made of the cast of drag race spain and if you know about my previous video that i made about comparison between drag race italy and drag race america well I would say the drug race is pain fucking slate. And I'm just over the moon. It was amazing. The three best hours of my life, truly. And I'll put some parts of it. I probably cannot post with the actual audio because of copyright reasons, but hey. The next day.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this roller coaster of a video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment on your experiences traveling alone. And don't forget to subscribe because the next two videos are going to be the Real Madrid Stadium Tour and the Gran Hotel de las Reinas vlog. See you next time. Bye!